Hello, today we are going to talk about the circle as a container for self-portrait. The circle as self. There are a number of ways you can go about doing this and really if we step back and get really deep and contemplative about it, all the circles that you make are in some way, shape, or form a self-portrait. Young would say that they are a portrait of your unconscious, um, you know, a representation of your internal self. You can be a little more intentional and perhaps do something like tracing your hands and depicting things that are very important or meaningful to you. You could draft a circle and actually put an image of yourself on top of it, underneath it. I've done a little bit of all of those things here. Um, so today, what I am going to ask you to do is to sit with the circle, draft the circle. Uh, if using a photographic image of yourself calls to you, maybe cut a circle of yourself out and begin to work with that. I will be sending over the next day some resources on image transfer techniques if the photographic element um, of self-portraiture really appeals to you. Otherwise, just get in there, think about some symbols, some shapes, some colors that you feel represent you and begin to put them on the page all the while contemplating how this circle can function as a container representing part of what you are, all of what you are if you're feeling ambitious. Uh, just start to play with that circle as container for self. I'll be back.